Good evening, members of the herd, and welcome to our first and hopefully last virtual wallow. Tonight marks the 121st time members of the herd have gathered to celebrate our love of country, patriotism, and to honor military members who face the dangers and privations of extensive military service far from home. I'm Captain Chuck Dixon, your main guy, Carabao, and I have the honor of getting this party started. Thank you for joining us tonight and being part of this unique bridging event designed to put us on a path to a normal wallow in 2023. We all wish we were together enjoying each other's company in person, and we intend to entertain you this evening as we leverage the technology of the virtual tables so you can enjoy the event and interact with one another across the platform. Please accept the heartfelt thanks of your council for indulging us as we navigate through these unique and turbulent waters. And a special thanks to our outgoing Grand Paramount Carabao, Lieutenant General Dave Deptula, who will certainly go down as the longest serving GPC in the history of the Military Order of the Carabao. You are all well versed in the rich heritage and that we are an organization rooted in our patriotism, camaraderie, and the collective desire to stay engaged in supporting our military troops. In fact, recently our virtual professional development luncheons have made our gatherings even larger and extended our networking ability. But most importantly, we're an organization that takes pride in throwing the best party and celebration of America that exists anywhere. My wish is that you enjoy this evening and it makes you even more motivated to join us in person next year. Now let's get this party started and to allow us to stay on track, allow me to yield the floor to our Grand Padre de los Carabaos, Rear Admiral Harold Robinson, United States Navy, who will deliver our invocation. Fervently we invoke thy blessing upon our country and our nation. Guard them, O God, from calamity and injury. Suffer not their adversaries to triumph over them, but let the glories of the just righteous and God-fearing people increase from age to age. Enlighten with thy wisdom and sustain with thy power those whom the people have set in authority, the president, his counselors and advisors, the judges, lawgivers, and executives, all who are entrusted with our safety and with the guardianship of our rights and our liberties. May peace and goodwill obtain among all the inhabitants of our land. May the Lord our God be gracious to us, establishing the work of our hands, yea, the work of our hands. May the Eternal establish it, and let us say, Amen. Old Carabao, old Carabao, before the air could strike a blow, invading armies must await upon thy slow and measured gait. For who can say that in his hand abides the power at thy command? Tis in thy mighty force to the fate of armies in the field. Good evening, members of the herd and distinguished guests. Let me also add my welcome to this 2022 Care About Wallow. Uh, and it is unique. Um, obviously, we'd all like to be together in person, um, but you know, fill your glass uh, and you can monitor your own intake 
and we can make this as close to real as you'd like to drink. So, ladies and gentlemen, please charge your glasses if they aren't already, and please rise. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled? tradition to offer three toasts. The first toast is to our Commander-in-Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, to the President of the United States. To the President. Our second toast is to those who wear the uniform of our armed services serving throughout the world tonight and who hold themselves in harm's way in the interest of our national security. Ladies and gentlemen, to our comrades in arms, to our comrades in arms. Our final toast tonight is to those who have gone before us. Ladies and gentlemen, to our departed comrades, to our departed comrades. At this time, I'd like to now introduce Colonel Jason Fettig and the President's Own, who will play the Stars and Stripes forever in a medley to our proud armed services.
United States Army. The United States Navy. The Coast Guard. The United States Air Force. Force. Members of the herd and honored guests, I'd like to present our main guide carabao, Captain Chuck Dixon, U.S. Navy, who will now recognize our corporate sponsors. Chuck, over to you. Members of the herd, let me take a moment to thank those sponsors who are critical to underwriting this wallow every year. This year is unique in many ways. And our collective thanks goes to the Independence Fund and Bob Carey for their support. Beyond our classic sponsorship, we thank those that worked so hard to pull this event off, including our partners at TaylorMade Events, Virtual Tables, and the dogged determination of your entire council. Now, in accordance with an honored custom dating back to the early days of our order, I'm pleased to introduce the Carabao Bombadero with the direction that he carry out the duties throughout the wallow by ensuring that the herd is at all times properly wetted down. Now, this particular year, that responsibility is actually going to be yours 
So make sure you charge your glasses and have another drink. Our bombardero this evening is backed by popular acclaim and he needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gene Simmons. For me to talk about uh, the deep and abiding love that I have for America, my second home, because I was born in Israel. And I came to the United States with my mother, a concentration camp survivor of Nazi Germany. She, went to, she was in the camps when she was 14 years of age. And had it not been for America's proud military, my mother and millions of others would have perished in World War II. And for me, it's a personal give back. If I'm standing in line at a Starbucks and I see somebody in uniform, I unapologetically and unabashedly step aside and bring forward my personal superhero and make it a, a point of publicly displaying my love and admiration for anybody who serves. It bears noting everybody in the military does it for an idea called America. You don't get rich doing it. You don't get famous. In fact, if you take a look at the upside, there ain't much. Except for matters of the heart. Of the people, for the people, by the people. The greatness of America has never been equaled and never will be because the, really the story of originally the Minutemen and on and on through the decades and the centuries of men and women who decided to sacrifice, in some cases, everything, including their lives, for the idea of America. All gave some, some gave all. Because I do nothing and mean almost nothing. And there are people with purple hearts and, and other metals that actually does mean something that actually does go to the heart of what America is all about. Certainly what, sh what America should be all about sacrifice. And most of us just won't step up, which is why for me, the superheroes of America and America invented superheroes. The superheroes don't exist in the pages of a comic book. They actually wear military uniforms. And, you know, we never thought about it in those days, but I remember when I was eight and a half or nine years of age when we first came to the United States, we were watching television, which we didn't have in Israel. And I couldn't keep my eyes off of this thing. And at the end of the night, about 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, television would go off the air. And you would start, before it went to uh, sort of white noise, that hissing sound, they actually played the national anthem. It was the American flag. Ba -da -da -da, you know. And I, at, at uh, eight and a half years of age, you know, I talk a lot in various languages. And my mother <sighs> breaks me up. Uh, trying to uh, gather my wits. She would go, shh, shh, shh. And I, I didn't know what she was shushing about. Uh, and uh, she stayed, she stayed every time transfixed on the flag and gave it, you know, the moment. Uh, God, you're killing me. Uh, gave it the moment of silence and respect it deserves. And my mother knew. She knew firsthand what America meant. When they rescued my mother and, and the rest of the concentration camp victims, it was, she talked about it. it. She said it felt like the angels came from heaven and rescued them. You know, it's, uh, and I learned sometimes uh, when I went to public school, I was in fifth and sixth grade and everything. 
some of the kids in class because they were kids would kid around and joke around because it, in those days you stood up and said the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And I memorized every word, even though I couldn't speak English well, because those words meant something to me. And they joke around about what are you, you know, what are you doing? And they they never understood. Because oh, they grew up with watching Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes and all that and grew up in the lap of luxury. I had no idea outside the borders of America there is evil. And my mother understood that. Um, that's where I get my love for America. I can never give back enough. And I'd like to add, very important, the beverages are, in fact, safe for consumption. But you all knew that, right? Tonight, it is my special honor as the main guy emeritus to present the highest honor that the Military Order of the Carabao bestows, the Distinguished Service Award, also known as the Hiker, to Mr. Gary Sinise for decades of magnificent service to the men and women of our armed forces. From his work with the Lieutenant Dan Ban, entertaining our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen all over the world, to his devotion to serving both our armed forces heroes and first responders, to his fundraising, promotion of veteran affairs, and advocacy to the public writ large, and to the members of Congress, Gary Sinise's life is about selfless service. To you, sir, please accept our highest honor. You join the ranks of other recipients of this award, including President George H.W. Bush, Secretary of Defense William J. Perry, Senator Strom Thurmond, former Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff John Vesey, Secretary of Defense Casper Weinberger, Senator Tom Ridge, and a host of other distinguished public servants. Your place among this group is well-earned and well-deserved. Congratulations to you, and thank you for all you do for so many. Sir, thank you very much. I've got the award right here, the Hiker Award, and it is my great honor and privilege to accept this award. Um, I, I, I accept it on behalf of the men and women who serve our country and the, and, and the folks that uh, I've tried to support all these many, many years. It's, uh, it's been a great privilege with me, many military members in my own family. Uh, it all starts there with me. I'm very uh, dedicated to uh, trying to do what I can to, to give back to them. I've met extraordinary people over the years, and I've had the privilege of of meeting so many because of this, uh, because of the work. But uh, the, really, the, the great reward for me is is to have been able to be blessed with a uh, an acting career that has uh, served me well and that I've done pretty well at, and to be able to turn that success uh, into support for the men and women who serve our country. Um, this is a great tribute and a great honor for me. Um, this will live right here uh, in uh, my special office, which I, I wanted to, I, I thought about doing this from home, uh, Sonny, but I thought uh, better to come to the office here and because this is where the hiker is going to live, right here at, at the Gary Sinise Foundation offices um, among uh, some very treasured uh, mementos and, and pieces of memorabilia that I've collected over the years from the United States military and, and our first responders across the country. I've met extraordinary people, as I said, and it's been a great privilege to travel the world and, and, and do what I can to make sure our defenders know they are appreciated and that we are grateful. I wrote a book called Grateful American, A Journey from Self to Service about two years ago. Uh, it's almost three years ago now. And it really is about the journey uh, where from, from a focus on my acting career to this service life and the extraordinary people that I've met along the way and the inspirational, motivational people that I've met along the way. Um, it's been a great privilege to do that. And I've been blessed, as I said, 
uh, with a with a career that has uh, helped me to do some good things for the men and women who serve our country. And sir, Sonny, thank you for uh, for serving our country yourself. Thank you to all the the, the men and women, uh, the, the folks at the Military Order of the Carabao who have served our country. I know there are many, many uh, among you, and I thank you for selflessly serving in defense of freedom for all of us around the world. Well, thank you, Gary, so much. And uh, it's such an honor to present this award to you. You mentioned your foundation. Can you spend just a second on that? Because I know some of our viewers and members of our herd <laughs> might like to donate to you. And we'd like to uh, do two things. We'll show a copy of your book jacket and, and also the link for those who want to donate to donate. Well, well, thank you very much. Yeah, th this is the foundation offices here in California. Um, some photographs of my family uh, back there on the wall. My dad served in the Navy, the, the bottom picture. Uh, he served in the Navy, uh, the black and white shot back there. He served during the Korean War. And then the two above are my uncles who served in, in World War II. And uh, their father, my grandfather, served as an ambulance driver in France in World War I. So many, many veterans in my own family and a lot of special uh, artifacts that I've been given over the years live here at the Gary Sinise Foundation offices. Our mission is to serve and honor the men and women who serve our country. And we do this through various programs, entertainment, education, lots of outreach. And we try to build communities uh, of support for our defenders uh, at home and abroad. That's what we do here at the Gary Sinise Foundation. Uh, we have many programs that serve our Gold Star families, our wounded. We build homes, specially adapted homes for very, very severely wounded uh, service members. We have, uh, uh, as I said, Gold Star programs. We serve uh, food across the globe uh, with messages of support and appreciation for uh, on our military bases and military hospitals. We do festivals. We do all kinds of things at the Gary Sinise Foundation. And my my book, Grateful American, it, it was around here somewhere. Uh, it tells the story of how I got, got into all of this and where it's all evolved. And now we have a very, very strong foundation, uh, lots of support, thousands of donors, donors across the country. And if you go to GarySiniseFoundation.org, uh, you can donate there or you can learn more about the various programs at the Gary Sinise Foundation. I recommend going to the YouTube channel where there are dozens and dozens of videos where you can meet the people that we serve, uh, the wounded that we build multiple homes for. I think we're, we built about 76 specially adapted smart technology homes for very, very severely wounded service members. Uh, our Gold Star programs, we take care of the Gold Star children. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of children post 9-11 that uh, have lost a parent uh, in in military conflict. So uh, we we try to give back and make sure that um, uh, what happened to our Vietnam veterans, quite frankly, uh, and having Vietnam veterans in my family, I remember all too well what happened to them when they came home. We're trying to ensure that what happened to them, falling through the cracks, getting left behind, having the country turn its back on our Vietnam veterans, we want to ensure that that never happens again and that we learn valuable lessons from our amazing Vietnam veterans. Uh, we welcome them home every chance we get, and we do that with our active duty and post 9-11 veterans as well here at the Gary Sinise Foundation. It's now time to meet our new Grand Paramount Carabao. I want to call upon the main guy, Carabao, Captain Chuck Dixon again, to present the nominating committee's report. Chuck? Thank you, Graham Paramount, Carabao. It's now my distinct pleasure to report that your nominating committee has made two selections for the coming year. First, a dear friend, Captain Bob Shubob Carey, has been selected to be my relief and your next main guy, Carabao. And to relieve our longest serving GPC, the committee has selected Lieutenant General John Dog Davis, United States Marine Corps, as your next Grand Paramount Carabao. Grand Paramount Carabao, we salute you now. 
heart to the word that is passed through the herd. He's a grand paramount carabao. This wallow will always recall a toast to fill the hall. Our glass as we raise to drown him with praise. He's a grand paramount carabao. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fight our country's battles in the air, on land, and sea. First to fight for right and freedom, and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of United States Marines. I'll now swear in the new Grand Paramount Carabao. General Davis, do you solemnly swear that you will keep the herd well wetted down at all times and that you will not unnecessarily water down the whiskey? I so swear, I relieve you, sir. I stand relieved. Congratulations. Members of the herd, as my first official act, I'd now like to recognize the service to the order of my predecessor, uh, General Dave Deptula of the United States Air Force. It's become the custom at each while to acknowledge, acknowledge the outstanding job of the outgoing Grand Paramount Carabao by presenting to him the Bull Carabao Award. Tonight, it's my pleasure to continue this custom as I make this presentation to General Deptula for the outstanding job he has done over the past two years, two years in a pandemic. Uh, really unprecedented, a first in the history of order. Dave, well done. Thank Thanks you so very much. much, Doc. Much appreciated. Yeah. And, but wait, like Gins United, there's more. We also would like to present this uh, fine art to you in recognition of your great job. The Carabao is famous for not only its service to our country and its, its focus on patriotism and thanking the services, but also humor and having a good time. And I'm sure this uh, will find a place of honor in your home. Thank you, sir. It will. Thanks very much, Again, Don. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thanks. May I have a round of applause for General Vettula. This evening, we'll be entertained by the renowned musician and inductee in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Skunk Baxter. Will you please join me in welcoming Skunk?
two years apart, now together virtually. We pray next year together actually, together that we may experience the scripture, God created humanity in God's own image, that we may sense your image in ourselves and recognize it in each other. Sadly, in the midst of strife and pestilence, I have failed to reflect the divine image I bear to all who encounter me and to discern your holy image in all whom I encounter. Fear and anger come easily, while compassion and empathy often require real effort. We pray to reflect your grace and your love to ourselves and to each other. Your creation is infinite and your understanding boundless. Who are we to imagine we have knowledge? Yet within each of us, you have shared a tiny measure of your vast truth. We are each blessed with our own little portion. Remind me, my portion is not the whole. Those with whom I disagree also possess a distinct portion. Perhaps together we can begin to reflect your great glory. God bless America with the unity of love, which reflects you in ourselves and in each other. We ask your blessing especially on those we send in harm's way, sailors, Marines, Coast Guardmen, airmen, and soldiers who willingly sacrifice the comfort and safety of home in defense of our land and our ideals. We pray also for their loved ones, those left at home, those whose daily lot is the wary for their warrior. We pray for warrior and warrior alike. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. Let us never be lazy in the work of peace that together we may reflect your glory and we say amen. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang We'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syne. I am truly honored to accept this post. I remember very fondly my first care of as a young officer, and it had the reputation of being the most fun thing you could do in Washington, D.C. Um, and honestly, we're going to get back to that. And uh, I'm going to do my part, uh, my level best, uh, to, bring, to bring this event back to an in-person event and wedding the herd in person. I want to say a personal thanks um, to all. Dave, Chuck, Gene, Gary, Mike, Skunk, and all the members of the order for all you have done to make this event special and memorable. Hi, I'm Shu Bob Carey, retired Naval officer and executive vice president of the Independence Fund. The Independence Fund is a veteran serving organization, proud to sponsor the Carabao Walla this year, as we have in the past and as we hope to do so in the future. You may remember us from our previous sponsorships, where we presented motorized track chairs for the catastrophically disabled veterans. Support from people like you make this possible. And that is why we are proud to support the military order of the Carabao. We salute the deference and reverence given to our military community, never to poke mild fun at some of the lessons, less smart things they may have happened in the military and the veteran community over the last year. The military order of the Carabao is obviously very formal, regal, and a serious group. 
Oh, who are we kidding? Yeah, the military to the care about does celebrate everything that is great about the military and veterans in the United States of America. But we also like to have fun, don't we? And the Independence Fund likes to have fun, too. And that's why we're three-star sponsors. Hold it. Hold it. All I had to do to become a vice admiral was to be a sponsor of the Carabao Wallow. Admiral Masso, I thought you were my sea daddy, sir. You you, you never told me that. Uh, Why did I do that 30 years again? Okay. Well, oh, well. It's still for a good cause. And we appreciate you joining us tonight. And if you want to learn more about the Independence Fund, go to www.independencefund.org. Thank you very much.